children welcome to english online class i'm sabida joseph your english teacher children i hope you all are safe and healthy at home last day we were discussing a beautiful story what is the title of the story do you remember yes patmini by saroj mukherjee children the story patmini is taken from the book the jungle hospital by saroj mukherjee right this uh, this book is about the hospital for animals in the jungle so today we'll read the textbook and i'll explain the story right so let us start everybody take your textbook page number 1 listen carefully okay lesson 1 patmini this story is told by a boy his grandmother amma lives alone near a forest one day she finds a wild elephant that is badly hurt amma wants to take care of the elephant the boy's father finds a vet manoj who agrees to help her so the story is telling by the boy he is the speaker of the story and his grandmother amma she finds an elephant in the forest which is badly hurt which means there are a lot of wounds on that elephant's body she wanted to take care of that elephant so this boy's father uh, finds a vet vet means a veterinary doctor his name is manoj okay here the writer calls him as manoj jungle okay manoj jungle agrees to help this elephant okay then to my delight father and manoj jungle took me along to amma's house so to my delight what he meant by delight delight means very happy so here the boy is very happy the narrator is very happy because he is going to his grandmother's house with his father and this manoj jungle amma tell me what happened to the elephant said manoj jungle so manoj jungle uh, asked amma amma what happened to this elephant amma said i think she was caught and held in ropes and chains while the rest of the herd escaped she was able to free herself with great difficulty the wounds are giving her a lot of pain okay so here amma says she got this elephant from the forest and this elephant was caught in ropes and held in chains by some other people while all other animals here herd means a group of animals so other animals they were escaped while she was trying to free herself all these chains and ropes made a lot of wounds on uh, her body and it is very painful for that elephant the wounds are giving her a lot of pain she cannot eat or drink properly and so she is weak okay children here the wounds are giving a lot of pain to that elephant so this elephant cannot eat or drink properly and that's why she is very weak and i give her sugar cane and a little water but she is too frightened to eat or drink as soon as the wounds heal i'm sure she will return to the forest okay here amma says she gave some sugar cane and water to this elephant but she rejected this sugar cane or water because this elephant is frightened frightened about this incident that is why and she is not having anything and she is also have some pain on her on her body and amma says once these wounds on her body is heal she will return to the forest until we have to take care of this elephant we have to help this elephant okay all of you take the next page page number 2 amma had named her patmini she and manoj angle went first to see patmini soon they came back and manoj angle told us patmini's trunk is cut in many places the wounds are deep so amma named this elephant as patmini okay so the elephant name is patmini hmm? then amma and manoj jungle they went to see patmini and amano jungle says there are lots of cuts on her trunk what is a trunk 
trunk means the long nose of an elephant have you seen it right so in the on that trunk there are lots of cuts lots of wounds are there and these wounds are very deep so we have to help her then he took out a gun amma looked at it and had tears in her eyes suddenly mano jungle he took a gun when amma saw that gun she start to cry mano jungle explained amma ji this won't kill patmini i have to stitch her wounds i can do that only when she is asleep the bullets in this gun will only make patmini sleep for a few hours here explained means told someone something in a simple way so here mano jungle explained that amma i'm not going to kill patmini and there are medicine in this bullets and this medicines will help her to sleep and then only i'll be able to clean her wounds and stitch it nicely so don't cry i'm not going to kill patmini then what do you mean by stitch here stitch means use a doctor's needle and special thread to join the skin around a cut on the body okay when we got some injuries maybe some of you got stitches on your forehead uh, because when we got some injuries doctors use this needles to stitch it properly and the bullets worked and patmini was soon asleep while she slept mano jungle cleaned her stitch her trunk gently then he returned to amma's house looking tired but happy the next day before he left he told us how to look after patmini until he came back so he showed patmini and this bullets worked she become asleep then uh, this mano jungle the vet he cleaned patmini's wounds on her trunk he cleaned it properly and he put medicine and he stitched it properly okay and he is very much tired why because it is not easy to treat such big animal like elephant that is why he is tired but still he is happy he could stitch her wounds smoothly that is why uh, this mano jungle happy at the same time right and next day he told amma and all others how to take care of this elephant patmini two days later amma decided to take me to see patmini patmini is much better but she still needs some help to eat and drink so next day amma decided to meet patmini and amma says patmini is much better but she needs our help to eat and drink so we have to go so she took this uh, boy along with her boy means the narrator or the speaker of the story and both of them they went to meet patmini in the forest we walked to the forest and soon came to an old temple amma rang the large bell there on the way to the forest uh, there is an old temple and there is a huge bell on that temple it is hanged on that temple and when uh, they reached there amma rang that large bell okay soon a few small animals came to the temple then some birds when amma rang that bell few animals and birds reached near to amma maybe amma used to rang that bell to call this animals and birds so that is why when they hear that sound all of them came near to amma we must never show animals that we are afraid said amma it makes them feel that we might harm them she gave them some food she had brought with her okay here amma says we must never show that we are afraid of them okay when we show an an animals we do not show that we are frightened when we show that they might feel that we are going to harm this do not do that when you are seeing them just smile at them just pleasant at them okay then they will be more friendly to us right and amma had taken some food for this animals and birds and she gave that food to them where is patmini i asked so this boy asked where is patmini we came here to see patmini where is she amma just smiled soon there was the crunching sound of leaves and branches it was patmini with bandages around her trunk 
she came up to amma so this when this boy asked about and cared about padmini amma just smiled soon they hear the crunching sounds of leaves what do you mean by this crunching sounds of leaves which means the sound made when dry leaves are crushed under the feet suddenly they hear that sound who is that yes it was padmini with bandages around her trunk amma patted padmini's trunk gently what do you mean by pat pat means touch with the flat of the hand gently okay here amma patted on padmini's trunk gently like a mother how are you feeling my child she asked softly she held out two bananas remember what i told you don't take off your bandages so here amma asking padmini how are you feeling my child are you okay now and she gave two bananas to padmini and told her do not remove this bandages okay you have to take care she was just scolding like a mother and then she said let's go to the river you need some water amma says let's go to river because padmini she needs some water we all walked to the water's edge padmini knelt down i poured water into her mouth many buckets of water so then they all walked near then they all walked the water's edge what do you mean by water's edge it is the point where the land ends and you are in the water of a lake or a river so they reached near to the water's edge which means near to the water in the lake but many knelt down what do you mean by knelt down she sat on her knee you can see how she is sitting right and uh, the boy he poured water into padmini's mouth what do you mean by pour pour means flow in continuous stream okay uh, he poured water into padmini's mouth why because padmini is not able to drink herself because there is bandages on her trunk you know that this uh, uh, elephants they use their trunk to have food or have water right they use their trunk to bath okay elephants elephants bath okay so here this boy he took a bucket of water and poured into that padmini's mouth a many buckets of water so padmini drank lots of water and she is much better now soon it was time for padmini to return to the forest and for us to go back home so it's time to uh, go back to home seeing the forest and padmini was padmini was like a dream it was magical so here the boy says that seeing the forest okay seeing the forest and padmini it was like a dream such a beautiful view and it is magical so it is wonderful to see an elephant in the forest and we are talking to the elephant we are touching the elephant giving water to the elephant so here the writer feels it's like a dream it is just like a dream so this is uh, the story it's a small simple but beautiful story right okay what you understood from this story yes we can understand the message from amma what's that we do not show that we are afraid of animals because when we show that they might feel we are going to harm them so we must be kind towards animals they need our help okay they all need in this universe like human beings they are also the part of this world right children i hope you enjoyed this class read the textbook and write the new words and comprehension questions in your notebook and next day we'll discuss the question answers okay we'll meet next day until then take care bye